What's going Hi. on, everybody? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys are wondering, who is my special guest? It didn't take any smart knowledge to know. It's Ollie. I've got Ollie here, because I really want to include Ollie somewhere in a stream. Or, sorry, a video. But it's super hard for me to include Ollie, because Ollie doesn't live in the same... Uh, even close to me in this in this nation that we live in. in this uh, nation? We're, we're, we're playing Psychonauts. He's in the French part of Canada. We speak Anglish over here. Yeah, it's the uh, place of Canada where we say Z instead of instead of Z? Z, Z, Z? Z instead of Z. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't been able to tell, uh, we're in the milkman's mind, and I just got the clairvoyance chip. Now, this is going to be weird for me, because I've recorded this separately, because the only way I can get Ollie to in on this, because he can't do live footage with me. Maybe he could, but I don't know how I'm going to put that together. So in the future, so this freaky third eye here lets us see what people see from their perspectives. It's, it's not big. It's not important. The point is, the reason I decided to get Ollie in on this um, was because this is actually, like, the driest level of Psychonauts. And I love this game, man. I love this game. It's fun. But the problem with this particular level is it's so much trial and error that I actually uh, didn't want to just talk through it because I wouldn't have enough to talk about. So um, I recorded this at the time with like my girlfriend and she was just sitting and watching me do this and she was like, this is convoluted. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know what to do. So you're going to see me, man. You're going to see me in this video. And I'm going to just stop moving for like 20 <laughs> seconds. And it's because I, I lose, I exhaust all of my act, like all of my options. And I'm just like, what? You know, you're just a... giving me the idea to put like a depressed, sad pug on, on screen. In fact, future Ollie, uh, put like... Future Ollie. Future... Oh, we can do that now. <laughs> yeah. Future Ollie, uh, put like a single what? balloon floating Ooh. down from the screen in <laughs> anger that? of what it is happening in the depression that will come in the near future that will come i just walked off the side <laughs> of that cliff like it was nothing you drunk so, something trevor so ollie ollie i'm gonna i'm gonna do a quick uh, history with ollie here because you guys now that this is like ollie's meet and greet session if you guys haven't by now gone to all these videos and checked them out which you should absolutely go right now stop watching this video just go i have the view i don't need you to watch anyway um ollie uh ollie and i did like a sonic review of sonic 3 and knuckles right after i did my sonic uh three knuckles oh playthrough. oh god that was a... right it was weird it was a while ago uh and it took me so long to get back to you i was such a scumbag about it and i felt super bad so one day i'm at jesse's place and i'm like guys i gotta go i gotta i gotta do this thing where i have to talk to someone about sonic <laughs> sonic 3 and knuckles and they're like what and i was like just, just shut up and like give me my cell phone and that's that's how I did that that's, that's true it's true yeah I um, remember you were with Jesse when I asked you the questions and I was pacing back and forth while I was talking to him too but uh, anyway so Ollie's asking me all these questions and then Ollie does this the, you know it takes him a bit he sends me the script and I do the script and uh, I don't hear from Ollie for a bit um, but then it was when I was doing Jack 2 that Ollie said Yo, these videos suck. That's not actually what I'm saying, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> I'm saying that. Yo, the uh, visuals suck. Let me help you. That basically let me do what it. Was <laughs> so Ollie put those sweet borders on the Jack videos. And then I said, like, that's amazing. Can you teach me? And he said, like, well, I could teach you, but, um, like, I could teach you, but if you want, I can just do it. Like, I can just add in um, the Jack videos. And I was like, if you don't mind... And then Ollie threw in some other stuff, and I asked him if he would hang around and uh, if he wanted to do that for the rest of these Let's Plays. And Ollie's been around ever since. He's been around for a while. but um, So since then, you know, we've been uh, talking and collaborating and doing... I, I like to do whatever I can with Ollie on his, um, on his channel, wherever it may have you. Um, these guys are hilarious, by the way. Um, at some point, I don't know, we're probably going to talk over it, uh, but they talk about what they're doing so um when i was looking up the walkthrough for this part of the game uh there was definitely this absolutely priceless thing where oh what was i listening to it's like the plumber 
and he's like, I have a plunger. It helps me clear away human waste from the sewers. Oh, and if you just keep God. listening to him, he keeps getting more and more down on with himself. So he's like, it's a disgusting job, but it's imperative. You couldn't do it. And then he's like, my wife doesn't respect me anymore, but at least I respect myself. And my girlfriend and I just sat and listened to this guy talk, and uh, it'll definitely be in here somewhere. But the thing is, there's so much dialogue written for these random, like, spy-looking characters. It's ridiculous. Um, sorry, I got I got distracted by the character there. I just figured I'd bring that up. But anyway, uh, all these become a, porn, a permanent part of the channel. And um, we actually soon, actually, really soon, uh, we're going to have Ollie... Um, we're actually going to have Ollie. He's going to be doing his own Let's Plays and going to be uploaded on the channel as well, which Should is I, super, yeah. super, super exciting. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anymore because Ollie, that's really up to you. Okay. Can, uh, should I say it? it? It's up to you. You could. You could say it now. I mean. Okay. Uh, well, the first thing you you lovely people from gaming members should know. Um, yes, I'm gonna be doing a let's plays on the gaming members channel for uh, all of eternity until I'm bored or something like that, or I retire from my YouTube life in about two years, which isn't that <laughs> long of a lifespan anyway, but <laughs> uh, basically, I will be making Let's Plays on Gaming Members in, uh, and will begin upload on the 1st of July. I don't know if I told you that, Trevor. Oh, no, I didn't hear it, but that's awesome. But basically, I will do re-uploads of the beginning of the series of Skyward Sword, which Trevor has done a few guest voices. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why would you make me Zelda? Because... I'm the least feminine man <laughs> voice ever. You think I'm better? Yeah, I guess we don't have much female. <laughs> um, actually, my girlfriend asked, like, just for one video. She's like, just let me do the part. I'll do Zelda, and we'll just send it to him. We won't even tell him. It'll just be like... Nothing happened That'd at all. That'd be awesome. Oh, but gosh. Well, it'd be better than me trying to put on a sassy black woman voice. Oh, yes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Uh, what was that? Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'll be, I'll, I will begin a plot on the 1st of July, and I just want to say to everyone, this will not detract from the usual schedule that we put uh, of normal Trevor's videos in his Let's Plays. They're just additional videos that you can watch with me as the main commander. I will still be the main editor of Gaming Memoirs, there's no need to worry about this. Forever and ever, Trevor could not do without me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have said that when I wasn't in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I just want to say it's not going to detract from anything that you usually see, it's just more that you get. Yeah, and again, it's it's going to be super exciting. Go, definitely go check it out. Like, I, I can't stress it enough. Go check it out. I'm going to watch him, because I actually haven't seen... I'm not gonna say what he's doing first. Did you say it? I never no, you didn't said say it publicly. It. I'm, I, I'm not. Gonna... I won't say it. Yeah. But because it'll be exciting when it actually does happen. Uh, but I've never actually seen any footage of this game. God, that's gonna now, be big. Now Jesse, yeah, Jesse, it's gonna be huge. Jesse has this game, um, but he has never played it because he is he wants to finish something else first. Now we'll get into details as to what that is, uh, because it'll just straight give away the what it is. Oh, is it but, the first um, one? Yeah, it's the first one. Oh, okay. So, he has a copy. He has, like, two copies of it. He just wants to keep one sealed. But, two? Um, oh, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this out as it happens, too. Get, get that piggy bank back here. <laughs> You'll see, eventually, I realize I can't catch up with it on foot. <laughs> I just give up. <laughs> um, so, Boyd fired again. This is Boyd Cooper. This is Boyd hanging out. This is Boyd getting fired. This is Boyd angrily walking away from his place. This is Boyd with a Molotov <laughs> cocktail. That was a picture of me. Boyd's insane. Oh, what a lovely day for this guy. Oh, yeah. Listen. I love the Molotov cocktail. <laughs> How extreme that is. Um, Where did you get oh that Molotov gosh. cocktail? Did you just went into, like, an alcohol I went, store and went, I want some Molotov cocktails. I, I think if you look at the uh, at the picture, like... If I, because I speed through them, yeah. he has like bottles of liquor all around him and like red. No, it's gasoline. He has bottles of gasoline oh. and empty bottles around him. Okay. Um, that makes sense. But uh, oh shoot, yeah. So Jesse also has this this particular game, and I've never seen it, and I think it's gonna make a great fit because I think it's just weird and obscure enough that you guys should hopefully love it. Um, so I'm gonna watch it because I've never seen anything of it. I'm just really pumped about that. But. Um, 
yeah so you guys look forward to that july 1st that's that's gonna be really exciting you know what since since we're here i'm gonna talk about this project i'm gonna do ollie since you're talking about a project i didn't know about i'm gonna tell you about a project dude i fucking told you uh sorry i just cursed out <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, it comes out sooner or later. They all they all slip out. <laughs> well, you should see the raw stuff from like some of the old Let's Plays. Like, it's something super benign. But we're doing like, I think we're doing like a Saturday Night Versus episode. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I gotta talk about this because I have no idea what to do with this. But I have to get in the garden. I have to look it up, and I'll explain when I actually figure it out, but, like, this is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in a video game, so I'm like, I have to get in that gate, it's literally the only option, but how do I get in? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it after, because you guys might not even catch it, because I just do it, but, um, so, what you guys might not know, and I'll eat what you might not know, is that there is a very particular set of video games that I am... I'm not. I'm not tooting my own horn here. I'm really not. Uh, I am. Can I get a really single MLG air horn for that? <laughs> yeah, one single sad. <laughs> um, I I am really really good at and this is this I have to specify, arena style shooters, Unreal Tournament, Quake, uh, like Wolfenstein was another one I was really I was really solid at. But anyway. Uh, that honestly doesn't I've surprise me that much. I I can play those things like it was good. They're going out of style. Here's what's going on, and I don't know how many people even watch this, but it doesn't matter. I don't do it for the views. I'm going to be playing when the new Doom comes out on May. I can't remember the date in May. I'm sorry, guys. I really oh. wish I remembered. When when I think it's May 12th, but when new Doom comes out, I'm gonna be streaming the entire game. In one sitting, we're gonna play the entire twelve-hour campaign Whoa. live in one sitting. Whoa! So, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be streaming literally the entire day. We're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna start up the game, and we are going to doom our eyes out. So, I'm gonna at some point I might go order a pizza. Nice uh, fun. I might have some coffee. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start, I haven't picked a time yet, but I'll probably, Ollie, I'm gonna work on, like, a little, uh, commercial for it, which will stick into the start of videos. Not a, not a ton of them, but, you know, just, like, a five-second, like, you know, all right. thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing all of Doom in literally one sitting. So, I hear it's really long for a first-person shooter, but Doom 3 was stupid long, too. But anyway, I, I really like Doom. Uh, I'm gonna try to get Thomas in on it. He says he might want to come along with it, so we're going to um, we're gonna play all the way through Doom. So what you guys might not know, I'm just gonna do a quick quick explanation here, because clearly I don't even know what I'm doing. I even asked this guy for help, um, but like I ask him for what I'm supposed to be doing, and he tells me to go to the area with the plants, right? Like that hedge area of the of the map. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. I have no clue. So, in the Milkman's mind, the Milkman's a paranoid schizophrenic, and he cannot, he, like, seriously, he cannot handle anything. So all of his information is locked away, but it's locked behind these guards, right? Like, these secret agents. Um, you can only access the areas in dotted squares if you have the right item to get in there. Currently, all I have is a stop sign, which gave me access to this second half of this, like, open world kind of level, right? Right now, I'm trying to get anything. Be them, like, hedge clippers, a plunger, a watering can, a rolling pin, like, anything. <laughs> because you need to have them. The thing is, all they let you do in this stage is they give you the ability of clairvoyance. <laughs> you can clearly fit through I, the I can definitely fit through it. And I'm, I'm going nuts. And I keep jumping the fence, which is making me madder. Anyway, so... um. This is, I'm trying to break it. I don't have a clue because they just tell me this is where you have to be, and I'm like, where? That's fucking. That's it's this. so bad. It is so bad. So I I'm running around here, and I need to find literally one tool because clearly, if I can find one, maybe it'll lead to others, yeah. right? Maybe it'll lead to anything. Because if I get the rolling pin, I can go inside. Maybe there's something else in there. Holy balls, is this complicated? <laughs> Because all I can do is see through the eyes of other things. And I'm like, that's not helping me. 
Are you gonna show me where one is hidden? So right now I'm trying to figure out what the crow sees that I don't see. And it's not <laughs> it's just it's just a mess. It's just a it's just a mess. I kill the crow out of pure anger, and this is funny because they give me a feather, which which I think is important, but actually the feather doesn't do anything <laughs> of course. in this stage, so <laughs> why would they give me the feather? So you're gonna see me trying to use the feather on things and it's it's just a mess. Of course. They, so this feather, I'm like, maybe I can tickle someone with it. Maybe I can do something with it. You know what's weird? No, I didn't buy it, but I hate that. Like, I've got this sort of, like, heavy orange color for my psychic powers, but I probably have enough arrowheads to go by the color change power. Um. So look, look, look. Now I can see through the sky at this stupid hedge area, and I'm like, well, maybe that's important, so let's go back and check it out. It is absolutely not. It is absolutely not. You can see when people get desperate in platformers, they do stuff like this. <laughs> yes. You get out of bounds. <laughs> uh, I cannot wait, because uh, we're going to split this up into two parts, because clearly they're like 30 minutes, and then this and was just a... And you're drunk, Trevor. You're drunk. I, it was so bad, Ollie. I, did, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> May I just I say, have no idea. we are the yeah. king on unrelated subjects. Since 15 oh, yeah. minutes ago... We went on four different tangents, <laughs> and we're I get still distracted. not back to the original spot. What was the original tangent? I'm, I'm really bad at this stuff. Um, <laughs> the original one was about when you talked about Sonic through Knuckles review on my oh, channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And by the way, for the record, this went, the, the video went um, online on the 29th of uh, May, 2014. So wow. that's almost two years ago. <laughs> Wow, two years, eh? Yeah. And the funny thing is, what these guys don't even know is that it sounds like it was just two years, but we didn't do that, uh, like, the, it went up yeah. in 2014. We probably did the recording, like, three years ago um, when you sent me the script. Yeah. This is driving me absolutely bonkers because I can see myself in pain <laughs> and I can't help myself. I can't go back in time and be like, how do I open? I'm hitting the gate like... I shall be the, the one guy who taps you on the shoulder and say, I can relate, even though I'm oh. not anywhere near you. In fact, this we're is... like 5,000 miles yeah, I'm sure it'd, be, it'd probably be like a five-hour, like, plane ride. By it. So that's probably a bit extreme, maybe yeah. like four. But it would be a very long, a very, very long <laughs> drive. This guy's playing the guitar with, like, I think a, a shovel or something. I can't even make it out. Oh, they're flowers. Wait, one of your objective, one of your objectives, obje yeah. <laughs> one of your objectives. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> one of your goals, I'll say it like this, was to get to the yeah. graveyard. Yes, and that's the big goal because I have to get. Um, I just I have to get the. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, man. Um, the I'm trying to find the milk man. Oh, this is the part where okay. I find out I can walk into houses. Because I didn't know I could do that oh. in this stage. So I just found out I can walk into houses, which now says to me, oh, shoot, I skipped every single house in this game. <laughs> yeah. I better go back to the very start and go start checking. Because you know, that's probably me the off item I need to get to the hedge maze. <laughs> they don't explain this to you. This is funny because the game doesn't say, hey, check out the houses. That's they weird. don't tell you very specific things about this and i understand because the whole world's theme is lock and key right you, you don't know anything Trevor, you fall it, again <laughs> i'm gonna fall like two or three more times i think at that part um i think we already passed the part where the like the girl scouts girl scouts tell you like i don't want to talk to you because you're like a creeper and then i see over there i'm like how do i get over there clearly i have to yeah. grind on the telephone wire don't have my sign captured and then we get this interrogation death scene, which is super funny for whatever Wait, weird Wait, interrogation reason. death scene? <laughs> well, this counts as a life. Like, they kill you for this, but it's like, what they are like, where's the milkman? What do you know about the milkman? What did the what did the girl guides know about the milkman? Who are you working for? It's like, I don't know. That's like, awesome. I, yeah, they and it's different depending on where you are. So, if you, I think I get captured later in, like, the sewers or something. With the plunger And they're guy. like, um... They're like, what do the sewers have to do with the milkman? Is he hiding the milk in the sewers? That's disgusting. Oh. Like they, they change your dialogue. Nasty. But um, so naturally, I'm I've got my uh, 
my sign here. I'm gonna try to explore it. But um, yeah, man, the that's how I that's how Ollie and I came into contact. That's your history of Ollie lesson. That's also the gaming memoirs update. Uh, that's coming very soon. Actually, I guess in two months or so. Uh, hopefully, we'll <laughs> it's have. It's coming soon in like sixty days. So be hey. patient. Oh come on! <laughs> that one even makes me mad. You drunk, oh. Trevor. Stop it drinking was all so that alcohol. Bad. You can see because this is the first thirty yeah, minutes of this part. Later, I get way faster at this. This is like this is going to be a history lesson episode, apparently. But holy balls, it's bad. Um, I remember before I even started this let's play, I even said to Ollie, I was like, I'm going to get you in on this let's play. Yeah. And I know exactly where I'm going to put you in. That that's funny because we had this discussion before the let's play. And yeah. after, I believe I have finished editing part 7 or 8, I don't remember. Yeah. And I was like, because you said in the video, I'll get someone for the next few parts. So I Skyped you and was like, who do you got? I'm curious. And they were like, it's you. <laughs> it's you. You're my golden goose. You get to <laughs> suffer through this crap. Um, so it was just kind of this awkward, oh, I knew. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. You're like, oh, dude, this is painful. Okay, it's not Jack too painful. Nothing will be Jack too painful. <laughs> Nothing will be that painful. I it's, do you know, agree. It's funny. Jack two is bad. We're gonna burn through Jack three. Oh yeah. Jack three is easy mode. Jack two. Yeah. All your guns have ammo. They do stuff. Enemies aren't as douchey. That level two rifle, uh, machine gun rifle that just the one that bounces. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, it's so devastating. It's... You can kill everything oh, yeah. with that. This thing's amazing. You know what I spin to win in the last one, like yeah. the 3D or 360 no scope. Yeah. It's not even 360 no scope because no bullet will not find someone's head. <laughs> That's oh. They home in and they rebound. It's disgusting. It's it's actually the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, combat's easier. Like they don't do like the thing is with Jack Two is they hit you like fast and like oh, yeah. you can only hit four times, right? It's Holes equal death. So you do some crazy platforming and oh, it's a nightmare. Jack Three probably won't be for a bit. Um, I already I already have I know what the next like let's like maybe three let's plays are gonna be if you guys can actually believe that. No, oh, I didn't um, even know. Yeah, it's it, they just kind of came to me while I was sitting there. Jesse and I have already talked about it. Um, the next after Jesse and I are done, the next project, which you guys will see, we, I think you guys, I may have mentioned in the comments or so. But when that goes up, <laughs> which will be I don't know, like it'll be within probably the same around the same time this this stuff comes out. Um, Jesse and I might talk about it, but I've got I've got. Uh, some fun stuff planned because I'm we're doing some more semi blinds. The next game Jesse definitely hasn't played. We talked about doing. Um, I really just want to talk about it, <laughs> but it's I guess it's not super. I can wait. I can wait, especially if plans change. But anyway, it's it's a pleasure to have Ollie here so he can watch my torment. Aww. Uh, get away from me, little girl. What's funny about this? I can explain this. Um, so I tried the feather because I'm like, I don't know anymore. I'm trying to use it. If you the if you look through people, through clairvoyance, you can see the way they see you. And the little girl specifies that she's like, get away from me. Like, I don't talk to weirdos. If you look through the little girl's eyes, you'll see, like, um, Rasputin. And he's all hunched over and creepy. And he looks like a <laughs> child molester, which is priceless to me. It's absolutely priceless. Now why does this little girl try to approach Rasputin if he looks like a creepy hunch old child well, the, the thing is, what I think is going on is that's her house, and he pulls up to her, and he's like, hey, have you heard about the milkman? And she's like, oh. oh. Especially because she sells cookies. Oh, yeah, that makes know? sense. So here's creepy guy with the cookie cell, and you're like, you, don't talk to me, please. Okay. I'm on the internet now. Without any question, I've given up. And I okay, I hope I can squeeze it into this episode. I will. And I'm going to explain what the game wants me to do here. So, I couldn't... I, I would normally... I would cite the guide I look up to give me the information about this. 
But I read this out loud because, again, my girlfriend's sitting on my bed right now. And uh, I read this out loud to her, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Where was the hint? Where was the hint? They don't tell you to do this. How would I you can know? Also, I think if you can listen, this we're probably talking over it. I'm probably talking over it. But you can hear the guy's dialogue. The guy's playing the plunger like a trumpet. Oh. Um, this is when he's talking about, like, dirty jobs and people needing to do them. But, yeah, that's it's going to be good. Oh, man. So, Ollie, why don't you tell the audience about yourself? Tell them everything. How so? Oh, well, what do you do with yourself? What do I... That sounds dirty, man. <laughs> not in private. Not in private. <laughs> what do you do with yourself? <laughs> I don't know what that makes me laugh. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the, the thing is, guys, I'm tired as all hell because I'm currently in school, so I'm recording this while... I haven't slept in like two days because I was working nonstop oh. on projects. I wasn't kidding earlier when I talked to you on Skype. I wasn't kidding at all. I, I hate to do this to Ollie because I didn't want to um I didn't want to drag him out and make him super tired, but with you know, schedules being what they are, you kind of have to take it. Dude, I'm happy to do it. I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've been there. Okay, wait, I'm gonna explain this. I'm gonna explain this. So I, I the the hint was not wrong. The hint to tell me to go to the hedge was not wrong. In order for me to go and open the gate, what you have to do, and you guys will never forget this because I'm telling you this. So I, I read what the guide said, and it says go to the right, and there's a gate. Jump over the gate, and then turn around and walk through the gate. But you have to jump over it and then walk through the gate. And then when you go and turn the corner, the gate is open. What? Right? What? What does the crow even have to do with that? Why what? does that even... That doesn't help you at all. That is so vague, man. That is so vague. That's and like it's, Majora's Mask amounts of... It's so obscure. Like, I'm not supposed to be able to figure that out. So I have no idea what I'm doing. And they're just like... Oh, yeah, you have to go up to it and then jump it. And this is funny because I need to explain this to you guys, too, because the video is about we're about out of time here. So now I've got um, now I've got this part here, right, where I'm allowed to roam around the uh, the graveyard. Uh, I couldn't do this before for obvious reasons because they've blocked it off. Um, this is one of the only parts of the game where you'll see that this the grave like the mausoleum is covered in bramble. You actually have to have pyrokinesis, which, I mean, of course, at some point you probably should because you would have leveled up by picking up figments and such because yeah. you get it fairly early. But unless you have pyrokinesis, you can't burn down this uh, this um, this uh, thicket. You also, in this stage, you actually need invisibility, too. You can't complete this level without pyrokinesis or invisibility, which are level-based upgrades. They don't give them to you. Like, in the, in the Godzilla app level... You need the shield to break the laser defense grid. Yeah, but, but they give, give you, it to you. Yeah. Yeah. So I tried to light him on fire, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's good stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm going to stop the video right here, and uh, we can just hold up there. And uh, sorry, there's no good place to stop here. But what we'll do is we'll continue from where we left off, and we'll explore more of this graveyard here. So, uh... We'll talk, we'll end it here. I'm here with Ollie from Oliver Gamer 3. Hi. And uh, <laughs> we'll join you more. Was it better? We'll join you more <laughs> in the next part of Let's Play Psychonauts where I have a better understanding of what I have to do. So we'll wait till after this cutscene and we'll catch you in the next part.